Fantastic campaign and the momentum is growing and growing and growing each and every day. And I can feel it in that hug I got from your candidate. You have a fantastic candidate in Brian Von Tilburg. Let's get People across this province are telling us that we have the right plan for Ontario. A plan that doesn't take them for granted anymore. A plan that puts people at the top of the agenda, that puts people first. And you know, everywhere I go, people are saying to me, we really want a chance to choose a positive change. We want a chance to vote for a party that we can trust to put our interests first. And that's why we have all that momentum. Because people know that they don't have to choose the kind of parties that will take them for granted. Right? That'll promise anything before an election and then four years later still not fulfill their promises. Forget all about the promises they made. They want to... <laughs> they want to vote for candidates like Brian Van Tilburg and our other candidates around the province who are going to fight for them, who are going to fight for them and respect them each and every day at Queen's Park. Yeah. And you know, as I've talked to Ontarians over the last several weeks, they're telling me that life has become far too unaffordable. Damn right. That they simply cannot make ends meet anymore. They're feeling like they're doing everything right. They're working hard. But the paycheck is staying the same and the bills are going higher and higher and higher. Welcome to taxes. And I can. I can make life more affordable for Ontarians. And I can do that by taking the HST off home heating. And take it off of home. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to start taking it off of gas, too. Yeah. You know, speaking of the HST, uh, I don't know if you heard yesterday, uh, uh, Mr. Hudak was uh, given the endorsement of uh, uh, Mr. Flaherty. <laughs> now, you know, now, you know, I remember in the legislature uh, over the last uh, year and a half or so, uh, as we were fighting against the HST, and I can remember Mr. Hudak being very vocal, and in fact, you all remember he actually oh, yeah. borrowed our platform on the yeah. HST. Yeah. Uh, but he was very, very vocal. But I don't remember him ever going to Ottawa to talk to uh, Mr. Harper or Mr. Flaherty, for that matter, about making sure that Ontario didn't have to take the HST. So now here we are. He got the endorsement from Mr. Flaherty, so I wonder if that means that, uh, that come October 6th, he's going to help us to make sure that the HST does come off of home heating, hydro, and gas. We're going to hold it to that. But as I said, Judah is there because we are talking about the kinds of things that people are concerned about. The affordability of everyday life, absolutely. But I don't think anybody here in Brantford would disagree with me that jobs are a huge issue in the province of Ontario. Yeah. And I can create new jobs in Ontario. You know, we don't have to keep giving blank checks to those corporations that just send our jobs somewhere else. Yeah. I can create jobs by making sure that I'm rewarding the companies that are creating jobs, that are training their workers, that are investing in Ontario. Yeah. That's the way to get people working yeah. in this province. Yeah. And that gets everybody working. That's the kind of plan that gets laid off workers working, it gets young people working, it gets new Canadians working, women and men, because a lot of different people need jobs today, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, our plan for positive change is also going to fix our health care system. You can count on new Democrats to fight in the legislature and to make sure that when we take government in this province, we are going to put patients at the priority, not the CEOs who get their salary increase yeah. every, every year. Yeah. We're going to redirect that money into frontline patient care. 
There's no way that the priority in any hospital should be the CEO getting his raise instead of the family with their child, a child waiting to get seen in emergency. We're going to cut emergency wait times in half. <laughs> and we're going to get rid of the waiting list for long-term care and for home care. We're going to have a health care system that puts patients first and that puts people first in Ontario. Yeah. You know, when we think about our province, when we think about politics today, when we think about what we're trying to create, we're not trying to create something just, just for ourselves, right? right? We're trying to create something that we can all share and be proud of. We want to make sure we have an Ontario that's there for our children, an Ontario that's stronger, an Ontario that's greener, an Ontario that provides hope and opportunity for our kids. That's the kind of Ontario New Democrats want to build, and we're going to build it together. Yeah. And so you know there's only a couple days left, right? I think there's about five more sleeps. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, <who's> sleeping? <laughs> we got a couple of days left and I'm counting on each and every one of you to get into your riding and make sure that every single voter in Brantford knows that they do have a real choice for positive change in this election campaign and that person's name is Brian Van Yeah. 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 Yeah.